Geoffrey Chaucer, the wife of Bath, from the general prologue. A gold weave was there of Bissy the Bath, but she was sumdale deaf, and that was sad. Of cloth marking she had a switch on aunt, she passed him of Ypres and of Gaunt. In either parish, weaving there was there known, that to the offering before her shoulder gone. And if they did certain so wroth was she, that she was oud of alle charity. Her cover chiefs, full fine wern of ground, e dost to swear they weighed in ten pound, that on a Sunday wern upon her head. Her hosen wern of fin scarlet red, full straight ye tight, and shoes full moist and new, bold was her face and fire and red of hue. She was a worthy woman, all her leave, whose bonders at church door she had a fever without an other company and youth. But thereof needeth not to speak as nooth, and three years had she been at Jerusalem, she had a passed many a strange stream. At Rome she had a been, and at Bologna, in Gallis, at St. Jama, and at Cologne, she could a mutual of wandering be the way. Gat toth it was she soothly for to say, upon an ambler easily she sat, ye wimple it well, and on her head and hat, as broad as is a buckler or a targe, a fort mantle about her hip is large, and on her feet a pair of spores sharp, in fellowship well could she lauch and carp, of remedies of loof she knew per chance, for she could of that art the older dance. Experience, though non-octorite, where in this world is right enough for me to speak of woe that is in mariage. For lording is, sithy twelve year was of age, thonk it be God that is etern on leave, whose bonds at Hirchador he have at fieve, if he so of the mich have he wedded be, and all were worthy men in her degree. But me was told, certain not long agone is, that sith that Christ ne went never but on as to wedding in the can of Galilee that be the psalm ensemble tauchte me that in a show the wedded be but on is. Herne eek, which a sharp word for the known as be see that well Jesus, God and man, spark in reprieve of the Samaritan, thou hast ye had fief husbondes, could he. And that elke man that nu hath thee is not thin husband, thou he said certain. What that he meant there be, he cannot sign. But that he asks uh, we that the fifth man was known who spawned to the Samaritan. Who money mechte she have a mariage? Yet had he never tellen in minage upon this number definition. Men my divin and glosen up and doon, but well he would express without a leer, God bad us for to wex and multiply. That gentle text can he well understand. Equal he would, he said, mean whose bond should let a father and mother and talk to me. But of no number mention, mad he, of bigamia or of octogamia, we should men speak of it villainaia. Lo, here the wise king, Don Solomon, he truly had a weaver's money on. As well the God, it were a lave full unto me to be refreshed half so oft as he. Which gift of God had he for all his weavers? No man hath switch that in this world a leave is. God ward, this noble king as to me wit, the first in nicht had money a merry fit with each of him, so well was him on leave. Blessed be God that he have wedded fever, of which he have a picket wood the best, both of her nether pores and of her chester. Diverse scholars mark in parfit clerkes, and diverse practic in many sundry workes, marketh the workman parfit sickerly, of fiv whose bondes scholying am I. Welcome the sixth, one that ever he shall, for sith he will not keep me chast in all, one mean whose bondes from the world are gone, some Christian man shall wed me anon, for then the apostle saith that I am free to wed a goddess half, where it leaketh me. He saith that to be wedded is no sinner, better is to be wedded than to brinner. 
What reckes me so folks I will an ear of shrewd lameth and his bigger me? E what well Abraham was an holy man, and Jacob ache as fair as ever is he can, and each of them had a weavers more than two, and many another holy man also. Where can ye say in any manaraja that I have got defended mariage be express word, he pray you, telleth me? O where commanded he virginity? He would as well as ye, it is no dread, the apostle, when he speaketh of maidenhead, he said that precept thereof had he known, men may consile a woman to be known, but consoling is no commandment. He put it in her own a judgment, for had God commanded maidenhead, then had he done that wedding with the dead. And certain, if there were no seed ye saw, virginity, then where of should it grow? Paul durst not command an at a least, a thing of which his maister have non hester. The dart is set up for virginity. Catch who so may, who reneth best, lat say. But this word is not tack of every wicht, but there as God list give it of his micht, he would well that the apostle was a maider, but nathless thought that he wrought and sighed, he would that every wicht were switch as he, all nis but counsel to virginity. And for to be na weave, he have me leave of indulgence, so nis it no reprieve. To wed me, if that me mark a dear, without exception of bigamy, I'll wear it gold, no woman for to touch, he meant as in his bed or in his couch, for peril is both fear and to assemble. You know what this ensemble may resemble. This all and some he held virginity more perfect than wedding in frailty. Reality, clepe he, but if that he and she would laden all her leave and chastity, he granted well, he have no envy, though maiden head prefer a bigamia. It leaketh him to be clean and body and ghost. Of mean estate, he need not mark no boast, for well you know, a lord in his household, he hath not every vessel all of gold. Some been of tre and don her lord service. God clepeth folk to him in sundry wise, and every hath of God a proper gift, some this, some that, as him leeth shift. Virginity is great perfection, and continence ache with devotion, but Christ that of perfection is well, but not every wicht he should go sell, all that he had and give it to the poor, and in switch wees follow him and his four. He spark to him that will live perfectly, and lording us be your lave, that am not he. He will bestow the floor of alminage in the actus and in fruit of mariage. Tell me also to what conclusion were members mad of generation and of so parfid wees a wicht ye wrought. Trusteth richt well they were not mad for nought. Glosse who so wolle and say ye both up and doon that they were marked for purgation of urine and ur both a thing is smaller, where eke took no a female for mamale, and for none other cause say ye no. The experience would well it is not so. So that the clerkes be not with me wroth, he say this, that they be marked for both. This is to say, for office and for ease, of engendrure, there were not got displease. We shall the men else in her book set, that man shall yield to his weave her debt. No wherewith shall he mark his payment, if he ne use it his silly instrument. Then were they mad upon a creature to purge urine and egg for engendrure. But he say not that every wicht is hold that hath switch harness as he too you told to go on and use him in engendrure. Then a showed him in talk of chastity no cure. Christ was a maider and sharpen as a man, and many a sign sith that the world begun. Yet lived they ever in perfect chastity. E nil envy no virginity, let him be bred of poor it way to say, and let us weave as hot and barley bread, and yet with barley bread mark telecan or lodges or refresh it many a ma. In switch a start as God hath cleped us, e will persevere, e nam not precious, in weave hoard e will use mean instrument as freely as me marker hath it sent. If he be dangerous, God give me sorrow. 
Mein husband shall it have both eve and morve, one that him list come forth and pay his debt. An whose bond will he have, he will not let, which shall be both me detour and me thrall, and have his tribulation withal upon his flesh, with that he am his weave. He have the poor during all me leave upon his proper body, and not he. Richt thus the apostle told it unto me, and bad our husbands, for to love us well, all this sentence me leaketh every day. Upstilt the pardon, and that anon. No dame, quod he, be God and be son John, ye been a noble preacher in this cause. He was about to wed a weave, alas, what should he be it on me flesh so dear, yet had he lever a wedding no weave to year. Abide, quod she, meat hall is not begun, nigh thou shalt drinken of another tunne, ere that he go shall save her worse than all. And one that he hath told thee forth meat hall of tribulation and mariage, of which I am expert in all minage, this is to say, me self have been the whipper, than my to chase whether that thou wilt sip of thilke tunne that he shall abroach. Beware of it, ere thou too nigh approach, for he shall tell and sample more than ten. Whoso that nil be war be other men, be him shall other men corrected be. The same wordes vriteth pro Ptolemy, reden is al majeste, and tak it there. Dame, he would pray you, if your will it were, say that this pardoner, as ye begun, tell forth your tale, spareth for no man, and teacheth us young men of your practique. Gladly, thought she, send it my your like, but yet he pray to all this company, if that he speak after me fantasie, as taketh not a grief of that he say, for mean intent is but for to play. No, sir, no will he tell you forth me tale. As ever a moti drink and we nor ale, he shall say soth, though whose bonds that he had, as three of him were good and two were bad. The three men were good and rich and old, unneath mich to they the statute hold, in which that they were bunden unto me. Ye would well, <laughs> what he mean of this par day. As help me God, he lauche one he think, who piteously an icht he mar him swink, and be me fai, he told of it no store. They had me given her lond, and her tresor, me needed not do lenger diligence to win her love, or do him reverence. They loved me so well, be God above, that he not told no dainty of her love. A wee's woman will busy her ever and on to get her love ye there as she hath known. But sith he had em holy in mean hond, and sith they had a given me all her lond, what shall he take a cape him for to please, but it were for me profit and me nase? He set him so a worker, be my fie, that money and nicht thy song, and while a why the back on was not fit for him me true, that some men han in Essex at Don Moor. He governed him so well after me law, that age of him full blissful was and foul to bring in me guy things fro the fire. They were full glad when he spark to him fire, for God it would each hid him spitiously. New Herkneth, who he bar me properly, ye weaser weavers that can understand, thus shall ye speak and bear him wrong on hund, for half so boldly can there no man swear and lean as a woman can. He say not this be weavers that be weas, but if it be one they han miss a visa, a weas weave, if that she can her god, shall bear in him on hond the cause ward, and take a witness of her own amide of her assent. But Hackneth knew, uh, Hackneth who, he sighed. Dear old Kynard, is this the naray, weas me neighbor as weave so gay? She is unordered over all there she goeth. He sit at home. He have no thrifty cloth. What does do at me neighbors whose is she so fire are too so amorous? What ruin ye with her maida benedicite? Sir old leecher, let the japes be, and if he have a gossip or a friend without an guild, to cheatest as a fiend, if that he will reply unto his hoos, thou comest home as drunken as a moose, and preachest on the bench, with evil pray, if thou sighs to me, it is a great mischief, to wed a poor woman for costage, and if that she be rich of high parage, then sighs to, that it is a torment tree, to suffer a preed and her melancholia, and if that she be fire, thou vera knave, thou sighs that every hollow, will her have she my 
no wheel in chastity abide, that is a silent upon nature seed. Thou sayst some folk desire us for richesse, some for sharp, some for fairnesse, and some for she can either sing or dance, and some for gentleness and alliance, some for her hands and her arms smale. Thus goth all to the devil be retale. Thou sayst, men may not keep a castle wall, it may so long a silent be over all, if that she be fool, thou sayst that she coveteth every man that she might see, for as a spinel she will on him leap, till that she find some man her to cheap. Nen on so grey goes goth there in the lake, as, sayst to well been without a mark. And sayst it is an hard thing for to hold, a thing that no man wolle his thankers hold. Thou sayst to laurel, when thou goes to bed, and that no wise man needeth for to wed, then no man that intendeth unto heaven, with wilde thunder dint and fear eleven, mot thee welket necker be to broke. Thou sayst that dropping horses and eggs mot, and cheating weavers mark and men to flee, out of our own hose, ah, benedicite, what eileth switch an old man for to cheat? Thou sayst, we weavers will our visas heed till we be fast, and then we will him shew, well may that be a proverb of a shrew. Thou sayst that oxen, asses, horse, and hundes, they been aside of diverse stundes, basins, lavorous, e that man him be, spones and stoles, and as which husbandrie, and so be in potters, clothes, and array, but folk of weavers mark a non aside, till they be wedded, old dotat shrew, and then sayst to, we will all visas shew. Thou sayst also that it displeaseth me, but if that thou wilt prize me, beauty, and put thou poor all way up on me fast, and clip me fair dam in every place, and put thou mark a fest of thilke die that he was born, and mark me fresh and gay, and but thou do to me nourris or nu, and to me chambre within me boor, and to me father's folk, and his halais. Thou sayst thou old bar full of light. Uh, Thou sayst also that it displeaseth me, but if that thou wilt prize me beauty, and put thou poor alway upon me face, and clip me fair dame in every place, and put thou mark a fest on silk dye that he was born, and mark me fresh and gay, and put thou do to me nourris or nu, and to me chambre within me boor, and to me father's folk, and his alias, thus sayst to all the barrelful of lees, and yet of our apprentice Janikin, for his crisp hair, sheening as gold so fine, and for he squeereth me both up and down, yet hast to caught a false suspicion, e will him not, though thou were dead to morrow. But tell me, we heedest thou with sorrow the keys of the chest away from me, it is me god as well as thine par day. What wainest thou, mak an idiot of our dame? No by that lord that called is St. Jam, thou shalt not both, though that thou were ward, be me meister, be meister of me body and of me god. That on thou shalt forgo, mo great in iron, what helpeth it of me in quere and spain? But tell me, we heedest too with sorrow the keys of the chest away from me. It is me god as well as thee in pardi. What wainest thou, mark an idiot of our dame? No be that lord that called is St. Jam, thou shalt not bother, though that thou were ward, be meister of me body and of me god. That on thou shalt forgo, mo great in Ian, what helpeth it of me in queer and spian, it trueth thou wouldest look me in the chiste. Thou showedest sire, Weave, go where thee list, attack your disport, he will not leave no talis, he knaw you for a true weave, dame Alice. We love no man that taketh cape or charge, where that we gone. We will win ut at all large. Of all men, ye blessed mot he be, the weezer alles. We love no man that taketh cape or charge, where that we gone, we will be at our large. Of alle man ye blessed more be, that we the astrologian, don't protolome, that saith this proverb in his alma geste. Of alle men his wisdom is the heest, that drinketh not who hath the world in hond. With this proverb thou shalt understand, have thou ye you know, 
what darf thy rich or care who merely that other folk is far? For certes, o de do tart be your leve, ye shall have quaint richt in o had eve. He is too great a nigger that would werne a man to licht a candle at his lanterne. He shall have never the last licht par day. Have thou in o? Thy thar not pline thee. Thou sayst us so that if we mark us guy with clothing and with precious array, that is a peril of our chastity, and yet with sorrow thou must enforce thee, and say these awards in the apostles' name, in habit mad with chastity and charm, ye woman shall appear you. Quod he, and not interested her and guy a peri, as perlis ne with gold ne clothes rich, after the text ne after the rubrice, he will not wirch as Mitchell as a grat. Who say this, this, that he was leek a cat, for whoso wold a singe a cat's skin, than wold the cat well dwellen in his inn, and if the cat's skin be slick and guy, she will not dwell in who's a half die. But forth she wolle, ere any die be dowed, to shew her skin, and go on a cat awawed. This is to say, if he be guy, sir shrew, he will renew me borrel for to shew. Sir, old fool, what helpeth thee to spien, thoch thou prior Argos with his hundred eon, to be me ward corpse as he can best? In faith, he shall not keep me, but me lest. Yet could he mark this bear, so mot he thee. Thou sidest ache that there be in thing is three, the which a thing is troublin' all this earth, and that no wicht may endure the fairth. O leve sir shrew, Jesus short thee leaf. Yet preachest thou, and sayst an heartful weave, he reckoned is for one of these mischances, being there non other manner resemblances, that ye may leak no your parables too, but if a silly weave be on of thou, Thou leaknest egg, women is love to hell, to barren lund, their water may not dwell, thou leaknest it also to wield a fear, the more it brenneth, the more it hath desire, to consume every thing that brenned will be. Thou sayest, richt as warm as shender a tree, richt so a weave destroyeth her whose bond. This knower they that bane to weave as bond. Lording is, richt thus as ye have understood, bar e stiffly mean old whose bond is on hond, that thus thy siden in her drunkenness, and I was false, with that he talk witness on Janikin and on Minas also. O Lord, the pine he did him and the war, full guiltless be goddess sweet a peen. For as an horse, he could beat and wean, he could plane, and he were in the guild, or else often team had he been spilled, who so that first to Millecumph first grinned. He plane at first, so was o'er where he stint. They were full glad to excuse in him full believe, of thing of which they never guilt her leave. Of wenches would he bear in him on a hunde, one that for sick thy micht on earth stond, yet tickled it his heart, for that he, when that he had of him so great charity, he swore that all me walking would be nicht, was for to spear wenches that he dichte, under that color had he money a mirth, for else which wit is given us in our birth, deceit, weeping, spinning, God hath give to women kindly, will they my leave. And thus of all thing he avant me, at ende he had the better in each degree, be slechte or force, or be some manner thing, as be continual murmur or grutching. Namely, a better hadn't they much chance, there would he cheed and do him no pleasance, he would no longer in the bed abid, if that he felt his arm over me seed, till he had marred his ronce on unto me, then would he suffer him do his knees tea. And therefore every man his tale he tell, win whoso may, for all is for to sell. With empty hand men my non haukes lore, for winning wold he all his lust endure, and mark me feigned appetite, and yet in Bacon had he never delete. That mad me that every wold him cheed, for though the pauper had said, had said in him be seed, he wold not spar him at her own board. For be me truth, he quit him word for word, as help me where I got omnipotent, though he richt nu should mark me testament, he know him not a word that it is that it misquit. He brought it so boot be me wit, that they must give it up as for the best for alles for Ellis.
For be me truth, I quit him word for word, as help me very God omnipotent, though I richt no should mark me testament, I know o'er him not a word that it nis quit. I brought it so about to be me wit, that they must give it up as for the best, or else had we never been in rest. For though he looked as a wood leon, yet should he file of his conclusion. Then, wollte I say, God leave, tak keep, who makely looketh wilkin or cheap. Sheep, come near me, spoozel, let me ba thee cheek. Ye shoulden ben al passiant an make, and hana sway to speas at conscience, sith ye so preach of Job's patience, suffereth alway, sin ye so well can preach. And but ye do, certain we shall you teach, that it is fair to have a weave and pace. All of us too must the bow and dutilis, and sith a man is more reasonable than woman is, ye must be sufferable. What aileth you to grutch at us and groan? Is it for ye will have me quaint alone? We tak it all, lo have it every day. Peter, I shrew you, but ye love it well. For if ye will sell me belle shows, ye could work as fresh as is a rose, but ye will keep it for your own tooth. Ye be to blame, be God. I say you so. Switch man a wordes, had we on honda. No while he spaken of me fourth husband, me fourth husband was a reveler. This is to sign, he had a paramour, and he was young and full of ragery. Stiborn and strong and jolly as a peer, who could he, he dance to an harp small and sing he was as any nicht in gal, when he had drunk a draught of sweet wine? Metellius, the fool chair of the swine, that with a staff bereft his weave her leave, for she drank wine, though he had been his weave, he should not hand on at me for drink. And after wean on Venus must he think, for also sicker as cold engendereth heil. A licorice mouth must han a licorice tile. In women, vinolent is no defence. This can and lechers be experience. But, Lord Christ, one that it remembereth me upon me youth and on me jollity, it tickleth me about min hert road, and to this day it doth min hert about, that ye have had me world as in me team. But Aj, alas, that all wol envenemin, hath me bereft me beauty and me pith. Let go, farewell, the devil go therewith. The floor is gone, there is na more to tell, the bren as he best can, no must he sell. But yet to be mir to be rich miri will he fond. No will he tell of me forth who spawn the Isaiah, he had in heart great dispeed, that he of any other had delied. But he was quit, be God and be St. Joseph. Uh, I made him of the psalm a word across, uh, not of me body in no full manner, but certainly I made a folk switch cheer that in his own grace I made him free for anger and for very jealousy. Be got in earth, he was his purgatory, for which he hope his soul be in glory, for God it would, he sat full of and song, one that his shoe full bitterly, bitterly him wrung. There was no wish of God, and he that wist, in many ways who saw he him twist. He died when he came from Jerusalem, and lith ye grave under the road beam, all is his tomb noch so curious as was the sepulchre of him, Darius, which that appellus wrought subtly, it nis but was to bury him preciously. Let him farewell, God give his soul a rest, he is no in his grave and in his chest. Nu of me fifth the husband, will he tell. God let his soul never come in hell, and yet was he to me the most shrew, that fail he on me ribbes I'll be rew, and ever shall unto me an ending die. But in our bed he was so fresh and gay, and therewithal so well could he me glose, when that he wold han me belle chose, that though he had a me bet on every bone, he could win again me love anon. He true he love him best for that he was of his love dangerous to me. We women han, if that he shall not lie, in this matera quaint fantasy. Wait what thing we may no lichtly have, thereafter will we cry all die and crave. For be those a thing, and that desiren we. 
presse uns fast, und dann will we flee. With down the road, we all our chafar. Great presse at market, market dear war. And to great sheep is hold a little priest. This knows every woman that is wees. Me fifth whose bond, got his soul blesser, which that he took for love and no richesse. He some team was a clerk of Oxenford, and had a left school and went a home to board, with me gossip dwelling in our tune. God have her soul, her name was Alice soon. She knew me in heart and ate me privity, but then our parish priest so mot ethy. To her be vreary, me counsel all, for had a mean husband pissed on a wall, or done a thing that should have cost his leave to her and to another worthy weave, and to me niece, which that he loved well, he would hunt hold his counsel every day. And so he did a full often, got it word, that marred his farce of red, often red and hot, for very sham, and blamed himself, for he had told to me so great a privity. And so befell that on as in a lent, so often teemus he to me gossip went, for ever yet he loved to be guy, and for to walk in March, Avril, and May, fro hoose to hoose to hear a sundry talis, that junk in clerk and me gossip damalis, and he myself into the field as wend. Mean whose bond was at London all that lent, he had the better laser for to play, and for to say an egg for to be say, for of lusty folk, what wist he where me grass was sharpen for to be, or in what place. Therefore he made me visitations to vigilies and to processions, to preach in egg and to these pilgrimages, to plays of miracles and to mariages, and wear it upon me gaia scarlet jittis. These wormes, ne these mottes, ne these mites, upon me peril fret him never a day. And was to we, for they were used well, no wall he tellen forth what happened me. He say that in the field us walk away, till truly we had a switched alliance, this clerk and he, that of me purveyance, he spoke to him, and said to him, who that he, if he were will, will show the weather me, for certainly, he say for no bobons, yet was he never without an purveyance of mariage, nor of other things ache. He hold a moose's heart not worth a leg, that hath put on hole for to start to, and if that file, then is all he do. I bar him on Honda, he had enchanted me, me dame tauchte me that subtlety, and eik i seide, i met of him all nicht, he wollte hans line me as he lay opricht, and all me bed was full of where I blood, but yet i hope that he shall do me good, for blood betokeneth gold, as me was taught. And all was false. I dreamed or of it richt not, but as I followed I me dame's lords, as well of this as of all the thing is more, but no, sir, let me see what he shall sign. Aha, be God, he have me tell again. When that me fourth husband was a bear, he we bargard and mad a sorry chair, as we this moton, for it is usage, and with me covered chief covered me visage, but for that he was poor vid of a marker, he wept but small, and that he undertak. To church was mein husband born a morwe, with neighbours that for him madden sore, and Janikin clerk was on of though. As help me God, when that he saw him go, after the bear, me thought they had a pair of legs and of fate so clean and fair that all mein heart he off, and to his hold. He was he through a twenty winter old, and he was forty, if he shall say sooth, but yet he had alway a coldest tooth, gut tooth that he was. And that become me well, he had the print of St. Venus' sail. As help me God, he was a lustre on, and fire and rich and young and well begone, and truly, as been husbandus told me, he had the best quonia micht be, for certes, I am all venerian, in feelingen and min heart is mercien, Venus, ja, me af lust, me licrustesse, and Mars, ja, fe, me stor die hardinesse. Mein Ascendent was Taur and Mars therinne, alas, alas, that ever luf was sinne. I forward I mean inclination, be virtue of me constellation, that made me I could not withdraw. Mi chamber of Venus, from a god of Elaue, yet have I marked his mark upon me face, and also in another privy place, for God so wees be me salvation, in a luft never be no discretion, but ever forward mean appetite, I'll wear his short, or long, or black, or weed. He took no cape, so that he like it may, 
O poor he was, an egg of what degree. What jolly sire, but at the month's end, this jolly clerk, Jankin, that was so hind, hath wedded me with great solemnity, and to him ya fi alde lond and fee that ever was me given there before. But after what? Repented me for sore, he no de suffer nothing of me list. Be God, he smote me on as on the list, for that he rent out of his book a life, that of the stroke min air was al wax. Um, But afterward, repented me for sore, he no the suffer nothing of me list. Be God, he smote me on as on the list, for that he rent out of his bog a leaf, that of the stroke min air wax al deaf, stiborn he was as is a leoness, and of me tongue a vera jangleresse, and walk he wold, as he had done before, from hose to hose, although he had it sworn. For which he often teem as well the preacher, and me of all the Roman jesters teacher, who he Simplicius Gallus left his weave, and her forsook for term of all his leave, nought but for open hefted here her say, looking oud. For which he often teem as well the preacher, and me of all the Roman jesters teacher, who he Simplicius Gallus left his weave, and her forsook for term of all his leave, nought but for open hefted he her sigh, looking oud at his door upon a die. Another Roman told he may be name, that for his weave was at uh, summer's game, with oud his weeting, he forsook her eke. And then would he upon his Bible sake, that ilke proverb of Ecclesiaste, where he commandeth and forbadeth faste, man shall not suffer his weave go rule about. Then would he say a rich thus with ut and ut, whoso that buildeth his hoose all of sowers, and pricketh his blind horse over the followers, he suffereth his weave to go second house, is worthy to be hanged on the gowns. But all for nought, he said a nocht an hour of his proverb and of his older sour, ne he wolde not of him corrected be. He had him that me visus telleth me, and so don more, got word of us, than he. This made him with me word al utrely, he nolde not forbear him in no cause. Nu wolde say your soth be St. Thomas, we that he rent out of his book a leaf, for which he smote me so that he was deaf. He had a bog that gladly, nicht and dive, or his disport he would read all why. He clipped it, Valerian Theophraste, at which bog he loch all way full faster, and ache there was some time a clerk at Rome, a cardinal, that hicht San Jerome, that made a bog a Ganjovinian, in which bog ache there was Tertullan, Chrysippius, Trotula, and Eloise, that was a best not fair fro Paris. And eke the parables of Solomon, Ovidus Art, and Bocchus Manion. And all these were boon in all volume, and every nicht and die was his costume, when he had leiser and vacation from all the worldly occupation, to reden on this book of wicked weavers. He knew of them more legends and leavers than been of good weavers in the Bible. For trusteth well, it is impossible that any clerk will speak a god of weavers, but if it be of holy scientist leavers, and of none other woman never the more. Who painted the Leon, tell me who? Be God, if women hadn't written stories as clerkes hand within her oratories, they would have written of men more wickedness than all the mark of Adam may redress. The children of Mercury and Venus been in her working full contrarios. Mercurio love with stam and science, and Venus loveth riot and dispense. And for her diverse disposition, each falleth in others exaltation, and thus got word Mercurius desolat in Pisces, where Venus is exaltat. And Venus falleth there Mercurius rised, therefore no woman of no clerk is prized. The clerk, when he is old, and my noch do of Venus verkes worth his old show, then sit he adun, and writ in his dotage, that women cannot keep her marriage. That women.
the children of Mercurii and Venus, been in her working full contrarius. Mercurial loveth wisdom and science, and Venus loveth riot and dispenser. And for her diverse disposition, each falleth in odres exertation, and thus, God wot, Mercury is desolate in pieces where Venus is exaltat. And Venus falleth, their Mercury is raised, therefore no woman of no clerk is praised. The clerk, when he is old, and my not do of Venus' work is worth his older show, then sit he down and vrit in his dotage that women cannot keep her a mariage. But no to purpose, we it told the thee that he was beaten for a bog par thee, upon a nicht chankin that was osir, read on his bog as he sat be the fear of Eva first, that for her wickedness was all mankind brought to wretchedness, for which that Jesu Christ himself was slain, that brought to us with his heart of blood again. Lo, here express of woman my ye finde, that woman was the loss of all mankind, though read he me who some son lost his hairs, sleeping, his lemon kitted with his shares, though which treason lost he both his eyen, though read he me if that he shall not lie, of Hercules and of his dianier, that caused him to set himself afire. Fear. Nothing forgot he, the sorrow and woe, that Socrates had with his weaver's toe, how Xantippa cast a piss upon his head. This silly man sat still as he were dead. He weeped his head, no more dost he sign, but ere that thunder stint come thrain. Of Fazifa, that was the queen of Crete, for shrewdness him thought the tale sweet. Fee, speak no more, it is a grisly thing of her horrible lust and her leaking. Of Clitamestra for her lechery, that falls the matter who's born for to thee, he read it with full good devotion. He told me ache for what occasion Amphiorax at Thebes lost his leave. Min husband had a legend of his weave. Eriphilem, that for an oach of gold hath privily unto the Greek is told where that her husband hid him in a place for which he had a Thebes sorry grass. Of Livia told him, eh, and of Lucia, they both made her response for to dear, that on for love, that other was for heart. Livia, her husband, upon an hour even later, empoisoned hath, for that she was his foe. Lucia, Lycrus, loved her husband so, that for he showed I were upon her think, she have him switch a manner love drink, that he was dead ere it were be the more, and thus Algatus husband is hansor. Then told he me, who on Latumius complained unto his fellow Arius, that in his garden grow a switch a tree, on which he sighed, who that his weaver's tree hanged himself for her to dispitus. O leve brother, quoth this Arius, give me a plant of thilk a blissed tree, and in mean garden planted it shall be. Of latter data, of weavers, hath he read, that some hans line your husband is in her bed, and later her let sure dicht all her alde nicht, when that the corpse lie in the floor opricht, and some a hand driven nylis in her brine, with that they slept, and thus they han him slain, some han him give a poison in her drink. He spak more harm than hurt him, I bethink, and therewithal he knew of more proverbs than in this world the grown grass or herbes. Bet is quod he, thin habitation be with a leon or a fool dragoon than with a woman, using for to cheat. Bed is, quod he, he in the roof abide than with an angry weave doon in the hoose. They been so wicked and contrarios, they hearten that her husband's loveth I. He said, a woman cast her sham away when she cast off her smoke. And furthermore, a fire woman, but she be chaste also, is like a gold ring in a sower's nose. Who would awane, or who would suppose, that woe that in mean heart was and peen? And when he saw he would never fiend to reden on this corset bog all nicht, all suddenly three leves have he plicht, ud of his bog richt as he radde, and eke he with me fest, so took him on the cheek, that in our fear he fiel backward to abdoon. And he, upstirt as doth a ward leon, and with his fest he smote me on the head, that in the floor he lie as he were dead. And when he saw who still that he lay, he was aghast and would have fled his way, till at the last out of me swore he braid, O oh, hast to slain me, false thief, he said, and for me land, thus hast to murdered me, ere he be dead, yet would he kiss thee. And near he came, and kneeled fire adone, and said, 
Der Sister Allison, as help me God, I shall thee never smeet, that I have done it is thee self to wit, for ye wit me, and that I thee beseek. And yet if soonest I hit him on the cheek, and said a thief, thus much shall I me wreck, no will I dee, I may no longer speak. But at the last, with Mitchell Carr and war, we fill a cord to be us and two. And he have me all the breed in mine hand, to hand the governance of whose and land, and of his tongue, and of his hand also, and made him bren his book and unricht though. And one that he had a getten unto me, be maestri all the sovereignty, and that he said, Mine own trio a weave, do as they lust. The term of all thee leave, keep thee no nur, and keep it means a start. After that day, we had never debat. God help me so, he was to him as kind, as any we from Denmark unto Ind. And also true, and so was he to me. He prayed to God, that sit in majesty, so bless his soul for his mercy there. Nu will he say me tale, if ye will hear. The frere loch, when he had heard all this. No dame, quod he, so have he joy or a bliss, this is a long preamble of a tale. And when the summoner heard the frere gale, Lo, quod the summoner, God is arm as two, a frere will entremet him evermore. Lo, God a men, a flea and ache a frere will fall in every dish and ache matere. What speakest thou of preambulation? What ambler or trotter or pace or goes it doon, thou lettest o'er this port in this manner. Yet wo to so, sir summoner, quoth the frere, nu be me faith, I shall ere that he go tell of a summoner, switch a tal or to, that all the folk shall lauchen in this place. No, Ellis Frere, I beshrew thee faster, quoth this summoner, and I beshrew me, but if he tell a tal or two or three of freres ere he come to Siddingbourne, that he shall mark thee in heart for to morn, for well he wot thee pass the answers gone. Or horse creed apace, and that anon, and said, let the woman tell her tale, ye far as folk that drunken ben of alle, do, dame, tell forth your tale, and that is best. Already, sir, quoth she, Richt as you list, if he have lessons of this worthy frere. Yes, dame, quoth he, tell forth, and he will hear. The Wife of Bath's Tale In the older days of the King Arthur, of which that Briton spake in great honour, I was this land full food of fiery. The elf queen, with her jolly company, danced full oft in many a grain a maid. This was the old opinion, as he read, he spake of many hundred years ago. But no, can no man say non elvis mo, for no the great charity and prayers of limitours and other holy freres that church in every lond and every stream, as thick as mottes in the sunbeam, blessing halles, chambres, kitchenes, boores, cities, burges, castles, hiatures, thropes, bernes, shipnes, diaries. This maketh that there be no fairies. For there as wont to walk and was an elf, there walketh nu the limitur himself, in undermeles and de morweninges, and saith his matins and his holy things, as he goeth in his limitation. Women may go nu softly up and down, in every bush or under every tree, there is none other incubus but he, and he ne wold on him but disunur. And so befell, that this king Arthur had in his house a lusty bachelor, that on a day came reading from Rivere, and happened that alone as he was born, he saw her maid walking him before, of which maid anon, mogre her head, be very force hereafter a maidenhead. For which oppression was such a clamour, and switch pursuit unto the king Arthur, that damned it was this knicht for to be dead. Because of Lau and Shodan lost his head, Paraventura switch was the statue though, but that the queen and other ladies more, so long a pride in the king of Grasa, till he his leave him grounded in that plaza, and yaf him to the queen at her will, to chase her whether she would him save or spill. The queen thanketh the king with all her micht, and after this thus spake she to the knicht, one that she saw her team upon a day, 
Thou standest yet, quod she, in switch array, that of thee leave yet hast thou no surte. I grant thee leave, if thou canst tellen me, what thing is it that women most desiren, be war, and keep thee neck bone from iren, and if thou canst not tellen me anon, yet shall I give thee leave for to gone a twelve month, and I die to sitch and lere, and answer sufficient in this matter, and surte will ye han ere that thou pass the body for to yielden in this place. Wo was this knicht, and sorrowfully he sicketh, but what, he may not dole all as him leaketh, and at the last day he chase him for to wende, and come again, richt at the year's ende, with switch and swear as God wold him per vie, and taketh his leave, and wendeth forth his way. He seeketh every hoose and every place, whereas he hopeth for to find the grass, to learne what thing women love most, but he ne could arriven in no cost, whereas he mich to find in this matter, to creatures according in fere. Some say the women love and best riches, some say the honour, some say joliness, some say the rich array, some lust a bed, and oft team to be widower and wedder. Some aside that our herte is most aised, when that we been ye flattered and ye pleased, he goeth full nie the sofa he will not lie. A man shall win us best with flattery, and with attendance and with busyness, being we ye leave it both more and lesser. And some sign that we love him best for to be free and do richt as us lest. And that no man reprave us of our wiese, but say that we be wiese and nothing niece. For truly there is none of us alle, if any wicht will claw us on the galle, that we nil kicke for his scythe us soth, as say, and he shall find it that so doth, for be we never so busy us within, we will be in holden ways and clean of sin. And some sign that great delete han we for to be in holden stable and exicre, and in our purpose steadfastly to dwell, and not be vry a thing that men us tell, but that tale is not worth a rackestale. Pardi, we women conna nothing hail. Witness on me da, will ye hear the tale? Ovid, amongst other things small, said a meader had under his long hairs, growing upon his head two asses heirs, the which wiese hid as he best michte, full subtly from every man's sichte, that save his weave there wist of it na more. He loved her most, and trusted her also. He pried her that to no creature she should tell him of his disfigure. She swore him nigh, for all this world to win her, she knowed the do that will I nie or sin. To mark her husband hands so full a name, she knowed not tell it for her own shame. But nevertheless, her thought that she did, that she so long should a consul hid. Her thought it swell so sore about her heart, that needily some word her must a starte. And sith she durst not tell it to no man, doon to a mars faster be she ran, till she come there her heart was a fear. And as a beater bumbleth in the mere, she laid her mouth unto the water doon. Be vry me not to water with me with thee soon, quod she, to thee it tell it and no more. Mein husband hath long asses heirs to, no is mein herta al hall, no it is oot. I möchte no länger keep it out of tute. Her may ye se, thoch we at him abide, yet out it mod, we can no consul heed. The remnant of the tale, if ye will hear, readeth of it, and there ye might it lehre. This knicht, of which me tale is speciali, when that he saw he möchte not come there be, this is to say, what women loven most, within his breast full sorrowful was the ghost, but home he goeth, he mechte not sojourn, the day was come, that homeward must he turn, and in his way it happed him to read, in all this car under a forest seed, where as he saw upon a dance ago, of ladies four and twenty and yet more, toward the witch dance he drove for yern, in hope that some wisdom should he learn, but certainly, ere he come fully there, vanished was this dance, he nest aware. The creature saw he that bar lief, saw on the grain he saw sitting a weave, a fool a wicht, there may no man devise. Again the knicht this older weave gan riese, 
und sagte, Sir Knicht, herforth ne leith no way, tell me what that ye seken be your fay. Paravantur, it may the better be, these older folk can mitch a thing, could she. Me leve moder, quoth this knicht, certain, e nam but dead, but if that e can sign, what thing it is that women most desire, could ye me wisse, e would a well quit you here. Plicht me the truth here in min hand, quoth she, the next thing that ye require thee, thou shalt it do if it lie in thee micht, and e will tell it you ere it be nicht. Have her me truth, quoth the knicht, e grante. Then, quoth she, he da me well avant the leaf is south, for he will stand there be upon me leaf, the queen will say as he, let's say which is the prudest of a mal, that weareth on a coverchief or a cal, that does I nigh of that each shall thee teach. Let us go forth without an linger speech, so ruined she a pistol in his ear, and bade him to be glad and have no fear. When they be coming to the court, this knicht said, he had told his day as he had a hicht, and ready was his answer as he said, full many a noble weave, and many a maide, and many a widow, for that they been wise, the queen herself sitting as justice, assembled then his answer for to hear. And after what this knicht was bought up here, to every wished commanded was silence, and that the knicht should tell in audience what thing that would the women love and best. This knicht ne stood not still as to the best, but to his question and on answered with manly voice that all the court did hear. Me legionary generally, quoth he, women desire to have sovereignty, as well over a husband as her love, and for to be in my stream above, this is your most desire, thought he killer, doth as you list, I am here at your will. In all the court ne was there weave ne maide, ne widow that contraried that he said, but siden as uh, but siden he was worthy on his leave. And with that word up stirred the old weave, which that the knicht saw sitting on the grain. Mercy, quod she, me sovereign lady queen, ere that your court depart do me richt. He talked this answer unto the knicht, for which he plichte me his truth affair. The first thing he would him require, he would it do, if it lie in his micht. Before the court, then pray thee, sir knicht, quod she, that thou me tag unto thee weave, for well thou wast that he have kept thee leave. If he I say, if he say false, say nigh upon thy fay. This knicht answered, alas, and while I why, he would recht well that switch was me behest, for God's love, as chase a new request. Tag all me God, and let me body go. Nay, then quoth she, he shrew us both at all, for though that he be full and old and poor, he nold for all the metal now for all, that under earth is grave or leith above, but if the weave he wear and ache the love. Me love, quoth he, nay, me damned nation, alas, that any of me nation should ever so full disparaged be. But all for naught, the end is this, that he constrained was, he needeth most to her wedder, and taketh his old weave, and goeth to bed. No wolden some men sire, parventure, that for me negligence I do no cure to tellen you the joy and all that I, that at the fest was that ilk die. To, to which thing shortly answer I shall, I sire there nas no joy ne fest at all. There nas but heaviness and much sorrow, for privily he wedded here on more, and all die after hid him as an ool, so woe was him, his weave looked so fool. Great was the woe the knicht had in his thought. When he was with his weave a beddy abroad, he well with and he turneth to and fro, his older weave lies mealing ever more, and said, O dear husband, benedicite, fareth every knicht us with his weave as ye. Is this the law of King Arthur's hoos? Is every knicht of this thus dangerous? I am your own love, and eke your weave, I am she which that saved hath your leave, and certes, yet ne did I you never unrecht, we far ye thus with me this first nicht. nicht. Ye far and like a man hath lost his wit, what is me guilt, for God's love, tell it, and it shall me amended, if he may. Amended, 
Quod this knicht, alas, nay, nay, it will not be amended nevermore. Thou art so loathly and so old as so, and there to come of so low a kind, that little wonder is though he while I in wind. So woe the God, mean hurt the world the breast. Is this, quod she, the cause of your undressed? Yes, hat and lee, quod he, no wonder is. No, sir, quod she, I could amend all this, if that me liste, ere it were die is three, so well ye mich de bear ye unto me, but for ye spaken of switch gentilesse, as is descended out of old trichesse, that therefore shouldn't ye be gentlemen, switch arrogance is not worth on him. Look, who that is most virtuous alway, privy and apart, and most intendeth I to do the gentle deedes that he can, Tak him for the greatest gentleman, Christ. Will we climb of him or gentilesse, not of our elders for your old richesse? For thou thy jeves all, for thou thy jeves all her heritage, for which we climb to be of high parage, yet may they not bequeath for no thing to none of us her virtues living. That mad him gentleman ye called be, and bade us following him in switch degree. Well can the wise poor of Florence that he the dant speak in this sentence, lo, in switch manner rim is dantes tale, full selde upriseth be his branches smale, prowess of man, for God of his prowess, wolle that of him we climb or gentilesse. For of our elders may we no thing climb, but temporal thing that man may hurt and mime. Eg every wicht, what this as well as he, if gentilesse were planted naturally unto a certain linage doon the line, privy and apart, then would thy never fine to dawn of gentilesse the fire of his, thy mich the dawn of villainy or vis. Tak fear and bear it in the darkest, tak fear and bear it in the darkest hoose, betwixt this and the moon of Caucasus, and let men shut the doors and go thene, yet will the fear as fire lee and berenne as twenty thousand men micht it behold, his office natural I will it hold, up peril of me leave to that idee, her may ye say well who that gentry is not annexed to possess youn, sith folk ne doon here operas youn alway as doth the fear low in his kin. Forgotted word, men may well often find a lord's son do sham and will I nie, and he that will han priest of his gentry, for he was born of a gentle hoose, and had his elders noble and virtues, and nil himself and do no gentle deedes, ne following his gentle ancestry that deedes. He is not gentle, be he duke or earl, for villain sinful deedes mark a chair. For gentilesse, nis but renome of thin ancestors, ancestors for a here bunte, which is a strange thing for the persona. The gentilesse cometh fro God alone, than cometh our very gentilesse of grasse, it was nothing bequeath us with our place. Thinketh, who nobler, as saith Valerius, was still Catullius Hostilius, that out of poverty rose to high noblesse, Red Senec, and redeth eke poets, there shall ye seen express that no dreadest, that he is gentle that doth gentle deedes. And therefore, leave husband, he thus conclude, I wear it that in ancestress were rude, yet me, yet may the here God, and so ho be, grant me grass to live in virtuously, than am he gentle one that he beginneth to live in virtuously, and wave a sinner. And there, as ye of poverty may reprieve, the here God on whom that we believe in willful poverty, she is to live his leaf. And certes, every man, maiden or weave, may understand that Jesus, heaven a king, ne will do not chase a vicious leaving. Glad poverty is an honest thing, certain, this will a cynic and other clerkes sign. Whoso that halt him pied of his poverty, he hold him rich, al had he not a sherte. The he that coveteth is a poor wricht, for he will the hand that is not in his micht. But he that not hath, he ne coveteth have, is richer, although ye, shol, ye hold him but a knave. Where I poverty, it singeth properly, juvenile saith of poverty, merely. The poor man, when he goth be the way, before the favours he may sing and play. Poverty is heartful gold, and, as he guesse, 
a full great bringer out of busyness, a great amender ache of sapience, to him that taketh it in patience. Poverty is this, although it seem a lenge, possession that no wicht will challenge. Poverty full oft, when a man is low, marketh his God, and ache himself to know. Poverty a spectacle is, as thinketh me, through which he may his very friend see. And therefore, sir, since that he not you grave, of me poverty na more ye may reprieve. No, sir, of elder ye reprieve me, and certes, sir, though non octorite were in no book, ye gentles of honour, sign that men an old wicht should don favour, and clepe in father for your gentilesse, and auctos shall he finden as he guesse. No, there ye say that I am full and old, then dread ye not to be in a cockerwold, for filther and elder, also mot I thee, been greater wardens upon chastity. But nathless, sin I knaw your delead, I shall fulfil your worldly appetite. Chase no, quod she, on of these things twire, to hand me full and old, till that I die, and be to you a true humble weave, and never you displease and I'll me leave, or else you will han me young and fire, and tack your aventure of the repire, that shall be to your hoose because of me, or in some other place may well be, no chase yourself and whether that you leaketh. This knicht aviseth him, and so seeketh, but at the last he sighed in this manner, me lady and me love, and weave so dear, he put me in your ways a governance, cheeseth yourself, which may be most pleasant, and most honour to you and me also. He don't know for thee, whether of the toe, as, for as you leaketh, it sufficeth me. Then have he get of you my strie, quod she, sin he my chase and govern as me lest? Ye, certes weave, quod he, he hold it best. Kiss me, quod she. We be no longer of wrath, for be me truth, he will be to you both. This is to sign, ye both fire and God. He pray to God that he might starve and ward, but he to you be also God and true, as ever I was weaves, and that the world was new. And but he be to mourn as fire to sign, as any lady, empress or queen, that is betwixt the east and ache the west, do with me leave and death richt as you list. Cast up the curtain, Look o who that it is. And when the knicht sach verily all this, that she so fire was, and so young thereto, for joy he hent he her in his arms too. His heart bathed in a bath of bliss, a thousand team a rew he gan her kiss, and she obeyed him in every thing that might adorn him pleasance or leaking. And thus they live on tour her leave's end in perfect joy, and Jesus Christ us send whose bondes make, younger and fresh a bed, and grass to overbeed him that we wed, and eke I pray Jesu short here leave's, that will not be governed be her weavers, and old and angry niggers of dispense, God send him soon a very pestilence.